In this live self-defense training video, we're gonna talk about the five self-defense moves everyone must know to fight like John Wick in the John Wick 4 movie. The trailer just came out using a pair of nunchucks. Now he had a pair of nunchucks that looked kind of like this with a really long chain. Now that's the key. That's the first thing I'm gonna tell you is if you wanna fight like John Wick and John Wick 4 for self-defense using nunchucks, you have to have the right kind. You can't have foam nunchucks. It's not gonna do anything. You don't wanna have thin metal. I'm gonna show you with these because it does have the longer chain, but these are really hard and they're super heavy. These old school nunchucks, and I've never seen this kind before where it's old school wood, but a super short chain because that's more of a trick pair of chucks when it has the short chain. So if you wanna use chucks for self-defense, you need a long chain. Hello, Nicholas. The first move that you must know for self-defense to defend yourself using nunchucks to fight like John Wick, to fight like Baba Yaga, you're gonna have to hold it here at the end. Hello, uh, Garen, it's good to see you. You've gotta hold it here. If you don't hold it here, if you try to hold it here or here, that's great for spins and for tricks and stuff, but that's not gonna be good for self-defense. You wanna fight like Baba Yaga, you wanna fight like John Wick 4, hold it at the very end. The first move is this diagonal strike. The diagonal strike is very effective. You can even bring it straight down. If you've seen the trailer for John Wick 4, there's a scene where, and let me just say this right at the beginning, it's a movie. It's stuntmen fighting. I don't even know who he's fighting, but it's got a lot of great, it's got Scott uh, Adkins in a fat man suit. It's got a lot of great martial arts dotting in, but it works best in the movies. So I'll just say that that's my caveat. You can use uh, nunchucks for self-defense, but you gotta really know what you're doing. First thing you have to know is hold it at the end. The first strike that you're gonna see is just this downward strike, either done straight down on top. There's a move where he's hitting the same guy over and over, and the longer the lever, the better. So that means if you just do a wrist strike, just your wrist is moving, that has a little power. If you extend the lever to your elbow, you have more power, and if you get the whole arm in it, and you're swinging through with your whole arm, you're gonna hit with maximum force for self-defense. So this downward strike is number one. Number two is a two-handed strike, and I've never seen the nunchucks used in the way that it's used in John Wick 4. If you've seen the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. He's swinging with two hands, coming through, coming down on top, smashes this guy. He's got a horizontal strike over here, turns around, smacks that guy on top. It reminds me of the old Bruce Lee movies where Bruce is just moving around, smacking this guy, smacking that guy. He's on the floor at one point, smacking people in the feet. It's just a simple move, and that's how nunchucks are designed to be used. When you use them for tricks and all kinds of cool things, of course, you gotta be able to pick them up when you drop them, but you're doing your tricks with your chucks, and you have all these fancy moves. That's just fancy stuff that looks good, but for self-defense, two hands on it is gonna give you more power when you strike. So the first move is that just basic one-handed strike, and then a two-handed strike. Now the third self-defense move everybody must know using nunchucks like John Wick and John Wick 4, not 5, 4, is this reverse strike. It's just pulling it out, either pulling it out horizontally, pulling it up vertically, you can pull it up diagonally. It's just the reverse of the first strike. You're pulling it out. You can do that with two hands. At the end of the movie, he uses a two-hand strike, or at the end of the scene, where he's fighting with the nunchucks for self-defense, boom, he finishes the last guy off with a two-handed pull, which is your fourth move. So move number one, self-defense, coming through, single strikes, always follow through, and you're gonna be smacking your own self. You're gonna smack your hand. And people complain about nunchucks all the time. You can't use them for self-defense, they're impractical, because you're gonna hit your own hand. Yes, if you do it wrong. So learn how to do it right. Follow through with your strikes and hold it here and make sure you have a long enough chain that when it's extended, it comes back and hits itself. It doesn't smash your fingers. When you're using two hands, there's a better chance, but in a fight scene like John Wick 4, it's life or death, it's him or them. He's not even feeling it. He's smacking himself and he's getting the job done. So don't worry about that too much. You need those two-handed strikes. You're not gonna be popping yourself too much. And I'm gonna adjust the camera, hold on. I just wanna get a little bit lower so you can see down here. Good afternoon, Alita, it's good to see you on one of these live streams. Matthew's here, Matthew, good to see you on the live stream. So number one is just a single-handed strike. Number two, those are uh, pulling, pulling strikes, pulling down. 
Number two is two-handed strikes. Same kind of thing coming across. Number three are the pulling up strikes. Pulling it across your body, pulling it up under his chin. Number four is the same thing, but again, two-handed. And the fifth move that you need to know if you want to defend yourself using nunchucks like John Wick and John Wick 4 is going to be the block. And you hold them on each side. Meiji, it's good to see you. Holding them here, you, his hand's coming down, and I wish I had something to show you, but you're using the chain to stop the attack, either on the weapon itself or even better, the hand that holds the weapon. So let's say the guy's got a bladed weapon or a baseball bat or a blunt instrument, and he comes down and you block him with this, you're gonna wrap around his hands, and then you have this, I'm gonna slide my hand there so you can see. Hello, Tony, it's good to see you. Um, yeah, March 24th, new John Wick drops, John Wick 4, fourth chapter. If you've never seen those and you like ultra, ultra action movies, that's an ultra action movie for sure. Uh, Keanu Reeves, but from here, and he dresses nicely. I always like it when the, the action star dresses well. But you can see I'm just pushing on it because I don't have two hands here. You can see my hand changing as I squeeze the muscles and the nerves. It opens my hand. Yeah, uh, Matthew says follow through on your strikes. So this is what's happening. You're blocking either sideways or up or down. And as, as his hand comes through, you're blocking into the bone. And then you're going to wrap it around. And then as you squeeze, you're going to start to break everything that's in there. The compression is going to break, especially with one of these hard nunchucks. You break and then you have leverage. You can pull somebody push somebody, even flip somebody using traditional turns and twists of like Hapkido or Aikido or uh, Jiu Jitsu, especially old school Jiu Jitsu. So wrapping up that hand, squeezing, and then pulling. So those are five basic moves of self-defense. Everybody must know if you want to use your nunchucks like John Wick 4 in the fourth uh, movie, drops 20, March 24th. And like I said, he's, he's fighting Scott Adkins in a fat suit. It looks like a really good fight scene. I can't wait to see that. I think Scott Adkins is a great martial arts actor. You got Donnie Yen, one of the best there's ever been. And uh, of course, Keanu Reeves, who puts heart and soul into every action movie he ever makes. So that's it. If you wanted to learn how to fight like John Wick 4 with nunchucks, basic, basic, basic stuff, all movies that are action movies, like all the old Bruce Lee movies where he's doing cool stuff with the chucks. They're basic, simple moves that anybody can use. You can learn very quickly and then just focus on those, get good at the basics, and you can defend yourself against pretty much anything. Awkward the Cat, good to see you. We're just finishing up. Five moves, single-handed strikes, double-handed pulling strikes, then reverse strikes. That's number three, pulling it out, pulling it up. And then, of course, two-handed, doing the same thing. That's number four. And then number five, two hands. Thank you very much, Tony. It's good to see everybody. I'll see you in a little bit.